Providence Park, two of the NWSL's hottest teams square off as the Portland Thorns host the Washington Spirit. Alongside Jordan Angeli, I'm Maura Sheridan. Thank you so much for joining us. And Portland, three straight wins. Yep. And for Washington, they won five of the last six. So we're, we're not kidding when we say this is a top tier battle. Yeah, you said it's two of the hottest teams in NWSL right now because for the Washington Spirit, it's their consistency. They have latched on to this new style of soccer and has helped them be the same team game in and game out. Now, can they do that with changes in the starting lineup? That's the question tonight. For Portland Thorns, they're at home. They have a three-game win streak. They have been fluid in attack under Rob Gale, and they have never lost to Washington Spirit at home at Providence Park. They're not going to let that happen. They don't want to let that happen here tonight, Laura. Well, for Portland, it helps when you have so Sophia Smith going, and she has seven goals this season. It feels like we're running out of superlatives to talk about Sophia Smith, but it's the consistency of the 23-year-old in this season. Already seven goals in seven games. Well, on the other side, for this Washington Spirit squad, another 23-year-old, but it's a rookie. Croy Bethune has come into this game, and she has l just set this game on fire, getting four assists in her last four games, two goals. They're going to want to get her on the ball and get her on the ball often in between the spaces on that attacking line. We're ready to kick Providence Park. It looks stiff from them, from a Portland team. They switch a little bit of what was happening. Mike Norris goes to a technical director role. They bring in Rob Gale as an interim head coach, and he's sparked life into this group, and his passion oozes out onto the field, and you've seen this Portland Thornton's team reinvigorated. Smith off the pressure, wide with it. Head-to-head -head with Carl. He's in front, Sukita. Sinclair, there's a shot put on, and it's in! Wow! Portland takes the lead early. Sam Coffey. Did Coffey just do a Sophia Smith celebration there? The little shrug. What a start from the Thorns. High pressing to win the ball back off of a throw in. And here Smith does the work in the channel, but it's the runners in the box that occupy players just allows space at the top of the box to play the ball back and it's an oncoming Sam Coffey and there it was, the celebration like, ah, of course, here it is, side netting, big time goal from Coffey, her second of the year and this is exactly what, what you want from the Thorns, you can hear the crowd, they're into it, off to a good start, up a goal within five minutes. This one through the air. Edder Sinclair, top to home! Christine Sinclair! That's 64 career goals with the Portland Thorns for Christine Sinclair. And it's the ball in, Aura. It's such a good driven ball. It makes it easy for Obeys to get her head on it, and she just tries to direct it towards frame, and then Sink does a good job of pouncing on it. How many times have we seen Christine Sinclair do this? Just find herself in the right place at the right time. She hits it with the bottom of her foot to just bounce it off of the ground, over the top of Kingsbury's foot. And my first key for Washington Spirit in this game was be better on defensive set pieces. It's not always the first ball, it's the second ball, and they were punished here by Christine Sinclair and this Thorn squad. But still Portland with possession now. Sugina. Coffee. Lifts it. Fleming. Kingsbury off her body. Second chance. Stopped again. Becky right to the keeper. It's too compact right now for Washington Spirit. Their, their midfield line is right on top of their back line. They need to have a little bit more space in between the two lines because otherwise Coffey has space on the ball. Then Fleming can run in behind and you can find this type of ball over top the back line. This is excellent goalkeeper from Kingsbury. She comes off her line, stays big, doesn't make the first save, only the first make, save, makes the second save as well. Mickey Ohm. 41 career goals with Washington for Ashley Hatch as this one's lifted to Rodman. Hogan's out and the two collide. Scary moment here as Rodman is down. Sarr just lays it out for her. 
than Rodman here trying to come across Hogan. Heading looks like the shoulder of Hogan there as she steps in front of Rodman right at the last second to catch the ball. Boutel. Hirschfeld. Lifts it up. Wiesner going for the header. Bethune with a shot. Star block. Second chance. Saved by Hogan. Just swats it down. Wow. Shelby Hogan, yeah, breathe in that applause because you deserve it here. It's two bites at the apple for Bethune, once with her left, then tries it with her right, but my goodness, Hogan recovers so well, gets up, swats it away. Sullivan, that one cleared out. Winning some of the first and second balls, helping them out of the back. Moultrie taps it to herself in the box. Moultrie blocked down. Mickey Owens still through the air, header put on to you. She was offside. It would have been her first goal with the club, Ana Diaz. That would have been a cap on the night as well, I think, for Portland. And as with everything, they'll look at it, but Ana Diaz. When it first happened, it felt offside to me. I thought, don't get too excited here, Ana Diaz, because Looked offside. It's a great header, though. Back to Rodman. Sugita defends now. Slices through. Rodman. Header. Yes! Lena Solano cuts the lead in half. Washington back in this game lane. And it's Trinity Rain Rodman. She just loves on her side, right? Just takes on a defender in the pouring down rain. Slips past her, up and over. Lena Solano making a good near post run. Flicks it to the back post. And everybody on the spirit says, let's go. We got to get another one. They're so good in these moments of the game to make it interesting. And that is a brilliant header from Solano. And there's a final whistle. A strong first half from Portland. They hang on a 2-1 victory over the Washington Spirit and make it four in a row for the Thorns.